what plans do you have for your future? Do you think you're going to continue working together and film the videos or are you going to expand further? Are you going to join a different company? Do you have any plans to retire? <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. You only have to cover that one. <laughs> I don't have any plans to um, change companies yet. I um, don't have any desire for that. Me never. Hmm? You said yet. It's not me never. Well, if, if, if you, <laughs> if you, if you, if you jack in, I'm going to go. Well, I'll see how the hips go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, because um, I've got it really good with my dad, and um, I can't, there's, if, they, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, so I don't see any reason to uh, break off and... You're not ready to work on your own yet, are you? No, not yet. And um, in terms of like, the YouTube, which we've like we've made, recently made the start of looking a bit more professional with things, so like um, my, uh, my girlfriend did a redesign of all our um, YouTube, like our banner and our thumbnails, so um, she's helped us make us look a bit more professional and um, we're just obviously trying to make our videos a bit more professional too since working with A&E. We want to like just um, establish ourselves a bit better. Yeah. And obviously just keep doing the work that we're doing. And buy some decent mics. Yeah. We get so much stick about having decent mics. Yeah. We should get something like this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm attached to my phone. Yeah. <laughs> GoPros that we use do not have good microphones. No. Especially when you're talking to them. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's it, we have it in the media mod, and the media mod is 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 a biased either towards the front, front or the back, and you have to mess around with the settings when you're talking to it. You can't, you haven't got time to do that. So it, it like sounds great, then you talk to it, it sounds muffled, and and I mumble a bit as well, which is, doesn't help. But so, but we we definitely look into the the mics, aren't we? Yeah. So, what does the future of bricklaying look like in both of your opinions? Do you think it's good, bad, or a bit of both? Going back to the materials, it's the um, ev same as everything. Everything's just gone so expensive. Everyone's the same, from bricks down to a pack of the biscuits. It's like, obviously with the um, the inflation and everything, who knows what it's going to be like, but hopefully the bubble's going to burst and eventually things will come back to normal, but not, not any time soon. It's just, um, it's getting hold of mainly bricks, you, you go to a house and they've had a, they want a garage converting and you've got to brick the front of that garage up. You, you want to match the bricks so everything looks right. And if you can't match those bricks, there's nothing you can do to make that look right. And the customers say, well, it was only built two years ago. So yeah, but they've been, they've been discontinued since two years ago. And the, we, you know, all we can offer is an alternative or something similar, which is a shame because it, if, it, if it's not perfect, it just doesn't look right, does it? 